Christians, brothers and sisters, believers, <clears throat> you need to pray for Vladimir Putin also, just like you pray for Trump. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. Number one, he's a Christian. He's an Orthodox Christian. And I have proof as uh, far as I'm concerned, because I was sitting at a prophecy club meeting and I, I don't remember what the guy's name was, but you, you can look it up. Uh, the Bible codes guy came and he was uh, going through all the things in the Bible code and stuff like that. And the Bible codes was saying things about Barack Obama that was true. And then the Bible code said that Vladimir Putin was a Christian. And yeah, he has a past, of course, just like Trump does and just like all of us do. But he wants to go against the New World Order. And that's very important. Trump and Putin are two political people that are, are thrown in the side of the New World Order and want to go against the New World Order. And from what I'm hearing from uh, off-grid desert farming with Paul and Adriana is that Vladimir Putin is the only one uh, restraining the rage of the Russian bear from just going to all out attack on the West, uh, nuclear and everything else. So that should concern you. So that should be a reason for you to want to pray for Vladimir Putin. Also pray that Vladimir Putin will be guided by God. And also from what I'm hearing from the white hat, uh, and the Patriot sources is that Putin is also a white hat along with Trump and everything like that. So when you got somebody that's willing to uh, go against the human traffickers and, and work with our true president, Trump, you know, the whole election thing, you know, you know how that went down. But if you got somebody that's willing to work with Trump like that, that's somebody you need to be praying for. Uh, this site right here is called um, Real Raw News. This is this is one of the sites right here. Uh, one of the white hat sites or Patriot sites is telling you what's really going on and things like that. Uh, another one is Before It's News. That's another pretty good site. And uh, of course, you know, I listen to We The People News on Rumble. But uh, I'm going to play that little clip from uh, Off Grid Desert Storming, you know, Off Grid Desert Farming. So I'm not going to read the whole article, but... Oh, oh yeah, and right here where it says, please watch this important interview. This is a a, a high-ranking military person in the U.S. military, Western military, NATO, whatever, telling you what's really happening in uh, Ukraine. So turn off that fake news and all that propaganda and believe the people that, you know, that are in the military and things like that. You got you got white hats in the military, which are good guys, and you got black hats in the military that are traitors that want to form the new world order by taking the United States down. All right, and let this play right here. Russia has been warning the United States and NATO over and over again, folks, that um, you're going to put us in a corner. And what is so important with that interview that I, I, I left in the last video is he's this gentleman, Colonel Richard Black, explains in detail why Russia invaded. He gave the reasons. And he said that the United States and NATO is responsible that they control Ukraine. Ukraine does not control itself. The United States is running the war in Ukraine. And this is from the mouth of Colonel Richard Black, not me. This is from someone who knows what's going on. NATO did not want a peace treaty with Russia. They forced them into doing this because to Russia, they consider that their national security is at stake. Their country is threatened now on all sides. This is a reverse Cuban missile crisis. When Russia was about to put missiles in Cuba, we gave them an ultimatum. Either you remove those missiles now or we're going to nuclear war. And Russia withdrew. This is a reverse Cuban missile crisis on the Russian border. They feel threatened by NATO. And you'll learn the truth. So please, folks, I urge you, watch that video. 
there's going to be some things that you don't want to hear, but he's telling you the truth. And especially what happened in Syria with Bashar al-Assad, ISIS, and al-Qaeda, and how we funded them, we trained them. And these terrorist groups in, I, in, in, in Syria, folks, committed horrendous crimes against Christians. They sawed their heads off all the time. They lined them up on a beach in arms jumpsuits jump and sawed their heads off with knives, Christians. They burned Christians alive in cages, tore their limbs apart, beheaded them, tortured them. All manner of horrendous things that ISIS and al-Qaeda did in Syria. And we supported those terrorist groups and funded them and trained them. You'll learn the truth, folks. The truth is hard to hear. I'm not giving Russia a pass. I'm not saying that they're great. And they don't do any wrong. Yes, there's wrong on both sides, but you need to know the truth on both sides. So let's go on with the rest of the articles. Yeah, before he does that, this see this guy right here, Alex Jones. This dude is a black hat, according to the Patriots and the White Hats. This guy right here is not even a real guy. Is uh, Bill Hicks. This dude is Bill Hicks anyway. All right, let's continue on. Alexander Lashenko, let me take this one off the screen here. Let me get this uh, new article on the screen. Alexander Lashenko, which is the uh, president of Belarus, just had a news conference. And he, uh, he said that he doesn't want war. He doesn't want nuclear war. Lashenko's ultimatum to NATO on nuclear use and overthrow of Vladimir Putin. The Russian army wants to react. So what he said in this interview is, is very disturbing, folks. Alexander Lashenko, which is the president of Belarus, said that even though President Putin is holding back his army, the more NATO sends weapons into Ukraine and the more Russian soldiers are killed, that he said that Putin might not be able to control his generals in the army and they're going to act on their own. Do you know what that means? Putin, according to Lashenko, has been holding his military back from unleashing hell on Ukraine and NATO. And he Now that's true because if, if Russia was doing all this uh genocide and all this, they could have flattened Ukraine in like two or three days. Putin is the one telling the military to uh, not damage civilian stuff as much as possible. But I'm hearing from the Patriots that uh, these Nazis are using people as human shields and that they're doing a bunch of genocide so it can be blamed on the Russians. All right, let's continue. Let's ride. Said at some point in the future, if NATO does not stop these arms shipments to Ukraine, which is resulting in the deaths of thousands of Russian soldiers, that his army commanders and his generals are going to take matters into their own hands, no matter what President Putin wants. So, you hear that? So there you go. Putin is the one that's having the restraint, and that's because he's a Christian. No matter what all the propaganda says, some might some might even be true, but mostly probably not true. Like they was doing Donald Trump, all that fake news propaganda. But well, anyway, you see that he's the one holding back the full rage of the bear. So that's one reason you need to be praying for him right there, because if he wasn't in there restraining them, they probably would have been nuked us, would have been nuked America with all the provocations that has been going on all these years, you know, even under Obama, you know, and now under this this Biden, this Biden thing. So. Has to be someone because Pastor Stan of the Prophecy Club dot com. He even said on one of his radio broadcasts, he he was wondering why why is Russia having all this restraint, you know, considering all these things that the West is doing and NATO is doing. Well, hey, I see the reason why is Vladimir Putin. That's the reason why. So you need to be praying for Vladimir Putin. I don't care what nobody say, and I like Vladimir Putin by the way. Because I don't believe half the things are said about them. All right, let's go. Let's ride. Folks, we're on the edge here. We provoked this war. 
We instigated this war with Russia. We planned the whole thing. And it's like the United States and NATO wants the destruction of the world. They want things to be destroyed for some reason. So they can bring out new world order. They want our country to be destroyed, evidently. Because they're traitors. There's no concrete peace proposals to stop this escalation. The more that we send in weapons, it's just prolonging the war. And causing Ukraine to suffer more. And it's going to drive Russia into using tactical nuclear weapons. And folks, listen, once the first nuclear bomb is launched, then you're not going to be able to de-escalate the situation. It's going to build and build and build until the big ICBMs come out in a, in a full-on nuclear holocaust across the world. It's not going to stop. Do you think that the United States won't respond with nuclear weapons against Moscow, and then they're going to respond back, and then we're going to respond back, and then they're going to respond back, and all of a sudden you've got a full-on nuclear weapon with thousands of nuclear weapons being launched on both sides because we instigated this war. We wanted this to happen. I don't know. We have crazy people leading our government, folks. That's all I can think about. Lunatics. That's all I can come come to a conclusion is that we have psychopaths running our Pentagon and our government folks that want the complete destruction of our country. They don't realize that just Russia's submarines alone can deliver 500 nuclear weapons on our country. Just their submarines alone. That doesn't count their ICBMs or their mobile ICBMs or their strategic bombers with their hypersonic missiles. Folks, it doesn't even count those. So I don't know what to tell you. I do know that we're in the tribulation right now. And a lot of people keep on disagreeing me with that. We are in the tribulation. This is man-made tribulation. Man-made, biological weapons, nuclear weapons, famine, supply chain shortages. We just got back from Walmart today. You know, there's hardly any dog food. I, where's the dog food? All the dog food's gone. There's no there's no distilled water on the shelf. You look on some sections of the grocery store, they're empty. There's no food. There's there's different products that are running out. Yep, he's right about that. I've seen that in Walmart myself. And, and is, is fake news telling you anything that's going on like that? You know, what kind of excuses are they making for it? It's all being done on purpose. Everything is being done on purpose because they want that new world order so they could get the two Christian superpowers to take each other out, America and Russia, wipe each other out. And then from the ashes of that, they can bring out the new world order. And also, you got to watch out for that little fake alien invasion thing, too, you know, where they're going to. Use uh, Project Blue Beam. They could put up holograms up in the air and make you think that we're being invaded by aliens and all that stuff. And then these 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 uh, half human animal hybrids that they've been making in the underground labs from the kidnap people, kidnap kids and all that stuff. They're gonna bring them out and say that they're aliens from other planets. You know, a bunch of lies. And you know, a lot of people are gonna be believing it because you've been watching all those space movies. When it was Space Boys, uh, Star Trek and all that. So yeah, Avatar, whatever. They got you believing in all that stuff. So it's like you're, you're, you're primed for it. You're primed for the big deception. And the Bible's talking about it in 2 Thessalonians 2, the strong delusion. That's what it is. The whole thing with the aliens. Those higher up beings, they're fallen angels. Fallen angels can shapeshift. They can appear as dead saints. They could come at, oh, we got some news, uh, scrolls and manuscripts from God and all this stuff, man. Look, well, all you need is the Bible. King James Bible, authorized King James Version. You could do King James 1611. You could do the Geneva Bible. These, you know, all Hebrew words can't be translated to English. I understand that. But those, those Bibles are backed up by biblical numerics. And that's the and that's God's designing hand confirmed by numbers. For instance, Ed Velo wrote a book called uh, Biblical Mathematics by Ed Velo. And uh, he had, it took him four years to see the code and the, the King James uh, versions of the Bible, not new King James. That's another that's another uh, 
bad version. It, it, so all the bad versions came from the 23rd edition of Nestle's text, by the way. But anyway, talking about the King James 1611, all that stuff. It's a numerical code in there, and I'll give you, I'll give you a sample of numbers and, and the numbers in lining up in the scriptures, all throughout the scriptures, meaning the same thing and having the same instances like one for unity, two for division, uh, seven for completion and perfection from the Lord, 28 representing eternal life. 36, the enemy, 17 for victory, 18 for bondage, 19 for faith, 21 for sin, 23 for death, 66 and 60 for pride. Uh, let's see. Well, anyway, that, that's, that's good enough right there. And that's just an example of what's in that book. And those numbers, you can't do that with the fake versions, the, the NIV, the New King James, the Jehovah Witness Bible, all those, all those fake New Age Bibles that were published by Satanists. And, and they have a copyright on them as well. Rupert Murdoch and all that. So, oh yeah, I, I got one more number for you. 11, the number 11, judgment and disorder. That represents that. You remember 9-11? So anyway... Uh, that's all I got for you today and uh, get a praying go we need it you know pray pray yeah we're waiting on Jesus Christ for sure that's that's the one that's gonna straighten everything out but before he comes the Antichrist is gonna come on the scene and he's gonna be loved by everybody he's gonna be so beautiful and all this that they say he's gonna be able to speak so well and tell you everything you want to hear and all this and that but the way the real Jesus Christ returns, he returns back as God, the son of God. And he approaches and he's bringing fire upon his enemies, the tares. That's the first thing he does. He attacks his enemy with his word. He attacks his enemies with his word, with the fire coming out of his mouth from the word, word of God. That's how Jesus Christ come back. He comes back as a conquering king. He don't come back making peace deals and world peace and all this and that like the antichrist is going to do and everybody's going to love him but the antichrist is going to come back before jesus and he's going to fool the entire world and the reason you know he fooled the entire world is because when the real jesus comes back the entire world tries to fight him so that lets you know people are so easily duped so easily fooled but that's how jesus christ is going to come back you know, these enemies, they got you thinking everything that they're doing is a theory. All their little things, all the conspiracy is, is a bunch of bunch of idiots working together to do something bad. That's all a conspiracy is. So don't let them fool you into thinking every conspiracy that they're doing against us is a theory. It's not a theory. They're doing stuff to the water. They're doing stuff to the air. They're putting stuff in your food. They're brainwashing you through the fake news telling you lies, lying about everything. They lie about outer space. They can't go up into to the second heaven. It's a firmament up there. They just lie about everything. And they even got some believers believing their lies. The only thing you need to rely on is God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit and get in the scriptures and, and go to God for the news. And anything that you hear, even from me, you take to God in prayer for confirmation. Everything you hear, like even from me, any, and from anybody, anything you hear, you go to God with it on your knees in prayer for confirmation. If you can't get peace from God about it, don't go with it because we're in an information war. You know, it's all mixed up. It's, it's hard to know who the good guys and who the bad guys are. But people that are doing obvious things, trying to work together, you need to be praying for. Them. So Putin ain't perfect. Trump ain't perfect. But you need to pray for him because that's the only shot you got. Who else you got in the political realm to to try to steer things in the same direction other than waiting on Jesus Christ. We know that's obvious. Jesus Christ is the one we got to wait on. Man, I thought my phone was getting ready to cut off. But anyway, ain't no harm in praying. What's the harm in that? Don't just assume. Don't just assume. Pray. That's the, that's the one thing that you can do for sure is pray. 
What the Bible say, pray for your enemies, bless those that curse you. And then what the Bible says, and the Bible also says, when your ways please God, God will make your enemies be at peace with you. So why are we having all these enemies? Are we pleasing God? We got, we got the Roe v. Wade thing going on. You know, what side are you on? Well, anyway, uh, just you know, please pray. I, I beg you to, to please pray. And God bless you all. Ain't nobody better than anybody. We're all, we're all, all of us got a piece of the truth in us from God. You know, ain't nobody better than anybody. You have some truth I don't. I got some truth you don't. And others have truth you don't. It's like pieces of the puzzle. And if you want to see the full picture, we all have to work together to see the full picture from God. And God did that so nobody won't get lifted up in pride and be like, oh, I got all the answers. I know everything. No, nah, God spread it out, spread it out. So we got to work together to see the truth. And nobody's better than anybody. And we all, you know, stumble at times. We, God wants to see you get back on your feet and keep fighting for the truth. Keep fighting to do what's right and help each other, help each other out. We watch each other's backs with prayer. That's how we do it, you know. People are just being puppeted by spirits. You know, some people don't know. You got to check the thoughts that come into your head. Some people just go in any idea that comes in your head. But anything that goes against Jesus Christ, that he came into the flesh and things like that, you need to throw under your feet and stomp on. And that's the spirit of the Antichrist. So, yeah, you got to check your thoughts against the word of God. That's how that works and things like that. And we, the Satanists stick together. So the Christians, we need to be sticking together. We need to be praying. Everybody, everybody's not going to be perfect. We're not going to have, Donald Trump ain't no pastor. Yeah, he got a pass and stuff like that. But you got to work with what you got. Pray that God makes them all the way like Jesus. Pray, pray that God makes Vladimir Putin all the way like Jesus. You know what I mean? Everybody got a pass. You got a pass. Don't sit there like you don't. We all do. So, God wants to work with the good that we do have in us. And we don't have a chance if we, if we don't pray for we for each other. Because the Satanists, they stick together. So it's embarrassing. So Christians, we need to stick together. Put all our little doctrinal dis, uh, uh, disagreements aside and all these denominations aside. And we need to work together. All right. So that's my little talk for y'all and myself. And be blessed in Jesus' name.